We have to understand that there is no such thing as a coincidence. None. So let's go to Exodus 15 and 26. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have wrought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. So we have to understand that when you are sick, when you are constantly sick, when many bad things are happening to you, you have to understand that you are under a curse. You are cursed. So the way that you can get out of that curse is by obeying God. I know when you say this to people, they get really offended because they see themselves as this holy person or this person who does anything wrong, who don't do anything wrong. So, that is pride. Because, think about this, and I have been doing research on this as well. Perhaps not in every case, but if you are serving God in the right way, but you are always getting sick. Like many bad things continue to happen to you. Yes, God is going to test us, but what I am saying, like every time I see you, something is wrong with you. You are either sick, you are either hurt, like something bad is happening to you always. If this is the way that things are, you have to understand that you are cursed. So the way to get uncursed, if that is a word, <clears throat> you have to be obedient to God's word. You have to read your Bible and understand what it is saying. Yes, Exodus is in the Old Testament, yes, but God is still the same. If God is going to curse people for disobeying him back in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, what do you believe that God is going to do now? He is going to do the same thing. Do you believe that God wants you to be disobedient to him now? That does not make any sense. What I am trying to say Stop consistently, day after day. You are doing many bad things each day. You are breaking God's commandments many times each day. Now, if you do it every so often, I am not saying that that is the right thing to do. I am not saying that because we all are going to make mistakes, you know, at some time. But what I'm trying to say is consistently, and knowingly doing bad things purposely each and every day. Stop doing that because that is cursing you. So I really hope this makes sense. God bless.